It's hard to think of the city of New Orleans without picturing the immense Superdome, a stadium that opened for business in 19... This is a secondary I really like to watch. A very physical bunch, and they have a reputation for intimidating receivers. Well, the Dome is, of course, providing perfect conditions for today's game. This game is presented by Snickers. And this season is officially underway. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. It's a good one, man. It's a good one. The Lions will begin this drive at the 27. Feeds it to the back. Down the sideline. Inside the 30 to the 20. They can't bring him down. And they finally get him to the ground at the 10. And you really have to look at your safety play anytime somebody makes a run of that distance. Because the very essence of playing the safety position is you have to be the last guy to protect your end zone. Short pass to his left. Has it on the sideline, but was he inbounds? The officials will huddle. About as close as you can get right there. A shoelace, maybe just one cleat down. That's all it takes in this game. Short throw. The stop was made by Fujita. Johnson picks up about three with a catch. as he let go of the ball. Good pressure that time, and they forced a bad throw. Not much he could have done with the pocket collapsing like that. This to put his team up by a field goal. He's got it. Here's your sprint drive summary. From his own goal line. He's tackled at the 31. All right, they just came up with a field goal. Let's see what this offense can do. Come out, be aggressive. Let's get some points on the board. Short throw to the right. Tackle is made by Anthony Henry. Two-yard pickup. Really nowhere for the wide receiver to go on that one. I'm not sure if the quarterback realized it was man coverage on that play. Here's the give. Pearson is there on the tackle. A gain of six yards. That'll bring up third down. Throws it. He's there for the catch. There really is so much the key to football. You talk all the time about you have to establish the run. Well, there you see why. You establish the run, and then you come with the play-action pass. Just so hard to defend. Gets the pass off. Makes a cut, and he will be hit and dropped. Drew Brees has the hot hand right now, and of course that surprises nobody, especially this defense. He's one of the most accurate passers in the league, so to stop him, you have to get some heat on him. Gets the pass away. Second down for the offense after that incomplete pass. Gets the 
gets the pass out. He catches another. The Saints are getting on a bit of a roll here. Nice play calling and good execution. The defense looks a little confused right now. Throws it out. Drops the sure pick. Look for your guy in the corner of the end zone and let it rip. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Breeze hands it off straight ahead. Tackle was made by Jackson. Well, that was the perfect time for them to call a blitz. They got in there, filled up all the gaps, brought down the running back for a short day. Passes to the end zone. Devery Henderson has it, but wait. They'll have to discuss this first. After discussing it, they rule. It's fourth down, and the kicker is on to try this 28-yarder. And it's good. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. He's tackled at the 31. The Lions come out looking to get another scoring drive going here. They got three last time. They hand it off. The stop was made by Charles Grant. Nothing makes a defensive coordinator cringe more than seeing that kind of run because then it sets up the play action and there's almost no way to stop an offense if you can't stop the run and you have to deal with play action. Anytime you give up that quick pressure like that, very seldom are those passes completed. Hands it off, and he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Will Smith is there on the tackle. They'll need eight here. The pocket is collapsing. He's dragged down on the play. Hornet records his first sack of the season. It's fourth down. The Lions are lining up to punt it away. Bush is back deep to receive. He takes it back to the 33. The Saints' last possession bogged down after starting off so well. They marched right down the field, but then had to settle for three. They hand it off. He gets out to about the 35-yard line before he's dropped by a host of tackles. They line up at the 35. Passes the ball. Ernie Sims was there to bring him down. Yeah, the defense came with pressure, but they couldn't quite get to the quarterback, and they paid a price. He got it out of there, picked up a nice game. Here we go. And they're coming after him. They get to him. Look for the open guy out there and get it to him quickly. They're sticking it out. Passes it. Almost picked. Well, this is a guy who's known for taking some risks, but that was an unnecessary hey, risk there. Lucky down, that man. wasn't intercepted. Here's the pass. Buchanan Woo! bats it down. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. He fields it at the 17. Gets to about the 41. The defense could do no wrong the last time this team had the ball. Up. 
Steps up in the pocket. We have a lion who appears to be shaken up. Following the sack, the offense sets up second and 13. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Defense closing in. Sadly, it comes away with the sack. And it's only in the first quarter. What a great start. The key to playing defense is getting good penetration. If you can make that quarterback move around sometimes, even if you don't get to him like they did on that play, you can still disrupt an offense. Passes it out. Comes down with it. The stop was made by Gay. Well, obviously that play was designed to pick up a lot more yardage than that, so give the defense credit for at least stopping them from getting a first down. This one's going to go out of bounds at the 32. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. The pass is away. Philip Buchanan is there on the tackle. I love that call against man-to-man -man coverage. Just get the ball out of your hands quickly. You don't have to face the pressure and give your playmakers a chance on that end cut. Reggie Bush picks up just around five yards. That'll be good for the first. Hand off to the fullback. Alexander makes the tackle. A seven-yard play, and that will bring up second down. They'll need about three yards here on second down. Still moving. He's under a heavy rush. The stop was made by Sims. Gets the ball away. He goes up high for the catch. And he went way up to snag that one. That was a pretty catch. Again with the run. Tackle around the 29-yard line by Sims. Second down now with 10 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Again with the carry. Tackle is made by Julian Peterson. Bush gets six yards on the play. Let's ride, this dog. is the eighth play of this drive. Gets the pass away. It's tip. Anthony Henry was defending on the play. And he makes it. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. He makes it back to the 25. The offense takes the field and we'll see if they can put something together after their last drive ended with a three and out. Pitch out. Simino is there on the tackle. A gain of three yards. And Tom, that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal gain. Dumps it out right. Calvin Johnson was his intended target. They line up at the 28. They get to him, and now the ball is loose. There's a battle for it. He 
He scooped it. The Lions win the battle, and they'll keep possession. I'm not really sure who got to that ball first. I think it changed possessions a few times at the bottom of that pile. But the offense came away with it, and they earned it. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. The Saints offense has to be a little disappointed with how that last drive ended to move the ball that effectively and only come away with three points. They go with the toss. Bush picks up about seven yards on the run. Second down now, three yards to go. Huge pressure by the defense. Sacked. Okay, go on a quick count here and just fling that ball in there. Here's the throw. He leaves. It's caught. Smith makes the tackle. Just a nice looking catch there. Didn't create a lot of separation between himself and the defender, but when the ball arrived, he made the play. Gives it off. Bush picks up about four yards on the play. Throws it. Nearly picked off. He should have had that. Let's go. Buchanan had the coverage on the play. From the 17 yard line. Let's go, fellas. Here we go. Passive. Leaping catch. Moore crosses the plane. Or maybe he didn't. After discussing it, they rule no touchdown. First down now, they'll be looking for six points here. And straight ahead we go with the fullback. The Saints score the game's first touchdown. Well, there certainly was no mystery to that play. Just power offense against power defense, and the offense won the battle there. Jennings has it at the five. At the 30, Green grabs it up. He's down the sideline. And he breaks into the open field. Touchdown, New Orleans. Well, it didn't take long to get... First turnover. Garrett Hartley is good on the point after. Here's your sprint drive summary. From his own goal line. They get him at the 27. The Lions are in a dangerous territory right now. This one's gotten a little out of hand, but a touchdown on this series, maybe your defense gets a little momentum going. He rolls out to the right. And it's completed. Calvin Johnson makes his third grab. Two yards away here on second down.
He gets out to about the 38-yard line before several defenders bring him down. Smith on the handoff. We have a lion who appears to be shaken up. They line up at the 41. Dumps it out left. And the pass falls incomplete. You bring a little pressure and it impacts quarterbacks and we saw it there. Throws it. There for the catch. Inside the 30. Tackle was made by Darren Sharper. This is a guy who is so good against the blitz. People try to come after him, but he has an ability inside that pocket to make a defender miss, sidestep somebody, buy a little time, and get that big completion. Darren Sharper was defending on the play. Escapes the pressure, keeps looking. The Saints have been like, I don't know, a big bully in this game. They get sack number five. Sack number five, and when your defense is on a roll like this, it just gives confidence to your entire team. I don't think they're going to let up at all with this pressure. Calvin Johnson was the intended receiver. So the kicking team is on the field to try for three points. They'll be looking at a 38-yard attempt. It's good. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. They'll set up shop at the 25. A couple of yards there. That'll bring up second down. They line up at the 27. Gets the pass off. Philip Buchanan is there on the tackle. Yeah, he scored a few style points with that one, but more importantly, they pick up the first down. The defense has him surrounded, and it's tipped away. He's one of those quarterbacks who trusts his arm maybe a little bit too much. He should have never thrown that ball. If we don't make a play, we're not going to win. Thomas gets seven yards on the play. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. This is your game, baby. Come on. Throws it short. Brings it in. Tackle was made by Peterson. And there you see just a of how tremendous these athletes are in the NFL. The ability to go up above the defense. Play like that, that was fun to watch. First and 10, ball on the 44. And he's hit as he let go of the ball. Pass rush almost got there that time, and uh, he has to feel a little lucky that that ball just fell harmlessly to the turf. All kinds of pressure. Peterson comes away with a sack.
Gets the pass away. And the pass is incomplete. The punting unit will likely head onto the field after they fail to convert on third down. The Lions have everyone on the line. Looks like they're coming after this one. They down it at the five. The Lions don't want to settle for three again. They're looking to add a touchdown this time. yards after the catch right now and that's because the defense is playing them very tight and making good solid tackles and deep puts it up there right through his hands he almost had the pick we have a lion who appears to be shaken up it's third down seven yards to go Gets the pass out. Not much room to throw into, and it's intercepted. The stop was made by Maurice Moore. They needed a drive down the field and some points on the board there. Instead, they send their defense right back out in a bad situation. They are asking a lot of them now. Come on, baby. We got to do our job. We got to do our job, man. He passes short. They make the stop, but the Saints will have first and goal. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. He's scrambling. Tries for the end zone. Drops the easy pick. And terrible. They give it to the tailback. That was just good old-fashioned smash-mouth football there. The offensive line simply taking over the line of scrimmage. Garrett Hartley packs on the extra point. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. Hartley looks to send this one deep. Payson and Jennings stand deep awaiting the kickoff. From the five-yard line. He breaks the tackle. The 50. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. And he will score. What a return. <laughs> oh, man. Was that guy flying or what? He just found a lane and went bowling. Jason Hansen is good on the point after. Here's your sprint drive summary. Drop at the 24 yard line. The Saints have been rolling so far, and now they can really start to take control of this one with another touchdown. They'll get the ball here at the 24-yard line. First and 10. Throws it out. Makes the catch. Tackle was made by Alexander. Robert Meacham makes his first reception of the game.
First down now and 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Gets it off. He fights forward to around midfield. Julian Peterson is there on the tackle. They line up at the 50. Passes the ball. Drops the sure pick. No completion that time, and it'll bring up third down. Let's get it. Pick on the back for real. Here's the deep throw. And he brings in the high pass. Has it on the sideline, but was he inbound? The officials will huddle. About as close as you can get right there. A shoelace, maybe just one cleat down. That's all it takes in this game. Coach Jim Schwartz doesn't like the call on the field, so he's going to have them take another look at it. And they can really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. It'll go out at the 18-yard line. And this is a great opportunity to get back into this ballgame. This offense needs to put a nice drive together right now. Give to the tailback. Grant was there to bring him down. They get nine yards on the play. That brings up second down. Short yardage situation here. Second and a yard. Passes it. Chandler makes the tackle. Bryant Johnson on the receiving end, and it's his first catch of the game. Dumps it out right. Yeah, they brought the blitz, and the offensive line just unable to pick it up that time to force the incompletion. Sees a man, goes deep, falls incomplete. That was a pretty bad miss that time, and we've seen it from him before. He just cannot seem to connect on those long throws. Here's the pass. Malcolm Jenkins was there on the tackle. The Lions have been facing a pretty stiff pass defense so far. Well, they haven't been getting too much on their completions, but that time, a big play, and that's exactly what they needed. Chandler makes the tackle. This is one of those guys you just love watching him run the football. His footwork, his balance, but especially his determination. He just does not want to be tackled. Under, 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 under. He throws right. Is there for the catch. To the 10. Touchdown, Detroit. What a run that was. He was trapped behind the line of scrimmage. It looked like he was going to go down for a big loss. Instead, he breaks the tackle and runs it in for the touchdown. Hanson puts it through, and it's a seven-point game. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. It's fielded at the two. They get him at the 31. They were forced to punt on their last drive. Throw this one to your halfback. Get it to him early and let him make some moves. There we go now. 
Just missed that time, bringing him down for a sack, but great pressure to force an incompletion. Passes it out. There for the reception. Pearson is there to bring him down. And when you're trying to catch those high, hard ones, you just don't know what's going to happen to your body. I tell you, you haven't lived until you caught one of those and had one of those clowns flip you upside down. The stop was made by foot. Bush picks up about four yards on the play. Let's go, Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. The pass is away. The tackle was made by Julian Peterson. Yeah, I like going with the play action pass in that situation. They caught the defense cheating a little bit, completed it for a good pickup. Bush takes the handoff, and he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Jackson was there to bring him down. First and ten. Gets the ball away. Henry gets his hand on it. Marcus Colston was the intended receiver on the play. Whoa, that was really lucky that one wasn't picked off. Not a good decision at all there. Gets the pass away. Is this a first down? Here's the measurement. They're just inches short. Try this running play to pick up a few yards. Gives it off. Tackle was made by Darby. Reggie Bush gets a nice gain of about five yards, and that'll be good for a first down. Throws it short. Catches it, and he's dropped. Shockey makes his third catch of the game. They give it to the tailback. DeVries was there to bring him down. This is the 11th play of this drive. Crushed as he threw. Now that's a great job by the defense that time, getting pressure, because if he had about one second more, he would have found the open receiver for the score. So the score now, the Saints, 30, the Lions, 20. And he's drilled. What a hit. The Lions punctuated that last series with a touchdown. I got to tell you, they look really good. They have this defense way back on their heels. Culpepper hands it left. Seminole makes the tackle. Smith gains about four yards on the play. Breaks a tackle. The stop was made by Cedric Ellis. We have an injured Saints Shut player who needs to we come off the to, field. Boys. Short pass to his left. Under pressure, he felt the heat that time and was forced to throw it away quickly. New Orleans looks like they're sending everything but the kitchen sink at this point.
He makes it out to the 36. The Saints were having their way with this defense last time out, but were held to just three points. They'll look to top that here. Ellis will not see any more snaps in this one. They've decided to play it safe. Here's the throw. Pass is complete. What happened there, Chris? Well, they got caught in man-to-man -man coverage on that play, and I couldn't tell if the defender slipped a little bit or not. Maybe he just got beat on the play. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Bush gets about four yards on the play. He tries to scramble. Defender tips it away. They can't hook up on the pass. Now the offense will be facing third down. Third down, they need six for a first. Free me, free me. Honey. Hello. Now he's scrambling, rolling left. He needs to make a decision. Passes the line. Sims was there to bring him down. Great play by the defense. You always hear coaches talking about whoever gets lower. Get your pad level lower than the offensive lineman. That time this defensive line did exactly that. It's no good. They go with the run. Brought down at the 47-yard line by Smith. Smith gets three yards on the carry. Here's the halfback. He fights forward to about the 49 before he's gang tackled. And they really ran right into the blitz. That's a time that a veteran quarterback should have changed the play at the line of scrimmage. You could see the blitz coming. He didn't audible and only came away with a short game. Well, that's just a big run stop right there. You have a very proud defensive line that was just going to take control of that situation. He fields the punt at the 13. He makes it to the 23-yard line. Use all of the field. Coach Sean Make sure doesn't the like to call on the field, so he's going to have them take another route. look at it. And the booth ends up agreeing with the officials after taking a further look into the play. And remember. Because the challenge has to be conclusive in order to change it. It doesn't necessarily mean it was exactly the right call. There just wasn't conclusive evidence to overturn it. They give it to the tailback. Bush gains about four yards on the play. Drop behind the line. You know, listen. I would never want to block a defensive lineman. So, you know, I've seen these guys. I know these guys. They're big and they're nasty. But at least from an offensive standpoint, you have to try to get in the way. Bush will make his way to the bench. Seems like he got banged up on that last play. Could be a shoulder. First down, 10 to go. On the ground with a tailback. 
He gets to about the 44-yard line before he's hit and dropped. First and 10. And he caught it. The stop was made by foot. Good job by the offense that time. Really nothing there down the field. He just takes a little completion and keeps moving the ball. Throws it. He's there for the catch. The Saints are putting together a good-looking drive here. That's their third first down. Tackle was made by Henry. Drew Brees is having no trouble completing passes on this drive. Accuracy is just one of his many talents. Throw short. Almost picked. Bush was his intended target. No! And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Gives it off. Touchdown Saints. The Saints drive it 75 yards and get into the end zone. Very nice nine-play series. When he gets into the open field, there aren't too many players who are going to catch him. He's got that all-important burst. The Lions are looking to dig themselves out of this big hole that they've dug themselves into. And at the very least, you have to show the guys on the other bench you're not going to roll over. Steps up in the pocket. The stop was made by Simino. Yeah, really not a bad play on that one to pull a ball down in that situation because now not only do you have to you know, think about maybe pulling somebody out of coverage or maybe just slow down that pass rush a little bit, but it plants a seed. is mine. Third down now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. Culpepper flips it out. Smith can't hang on to the ball. Fitzsimmons picks it up off the ground. He's in. Touchdown. We have a lion who appears yeah. to be shaken up. Jason Hansen adds the extra point. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary.
When you want to see what coverage you're in, one of the things you can try is sending your receiver in motion. A lot of times they'll take their coverage guy and move him with the motion guy, and that shows that it's man coverage. Throws it. Comes down with it. Tackle was made by Pearson. And this receiver just loves it when the defense is in man coverage. Yeah, there's no better feeling than when you're coming off the ball and you know it's just you and the guy across from you. That's just good old-fashioned football. But you also know typically when you get man coverage, your quarterback is under pressure. The tight end did a good job here selling the block and then going out into his route and making the catch for a decent gain on the play. Breeze with the give. The stop was made by Dwayne White. Two-yard pickup. Well, that time the outside linebacker came on the run blitz. They got some penetration and shut down the play. He throws short, and it's completed. Tackle was made by Delmont. We have an injured Saints player who needs to come off the field. Passes on the move. Pearson is there on the tackle. The Saints are having some success getting the ball down the field on this drive. This offense is clicking. Gets the pass off. The tackle was made by Henry. Marcus Colston with his sixth reception. They're probably looking for the run here. You should throw it and hope you get a guy wide open. Run this one up the gut. If you can create a pile on the goal line, he might be able to jump over the top. He'll try the end zone. Evans was the intended receiver. Breeze will remain on the sideline for the duration of this game at least. They don't want to take any chances. Passes to his left. He brings it in. Touchdown. All the great athletes out there on the field, and they throw it to the fullback for a touchdown. Garrett Hartley adds the extra point. Here's your sprint drive summary. Jennings has already taken one back on them. Let's see if they decide to kick to him again. Jennings fields it at the one. Hit and drop at the 27-yard line. The Lions on that last series proved they can move the ball on this defense. They just need to keep it rolling now. They'll start at the 27. Dumps it out left. There for the catch. Johnson grabs that one for a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second down. Gets the pass away. Can't hang on. Young had the coverage on the play from their own 30-yard line. Dumps it out right. Down the sideline. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Lions. There's just something about a ball that you know if you catch it, it's six points. And if you don't, you're going to be the go to the game. It just makes you focus a little bit more. Jason Hansen is good on the point after. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. 
The Saints scored a touchdown on their previous drive and will look to extend their two-possession lead some more. Gets it off. Dwayne White is there on the tackle. They get three yards on the play, and that will bring up second down. He'll get the call again. Still on his feet. Gains his way to midfield. Alexander is there to bring him down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50. It's showtime, baby. Let's go, fellas. Get ready. Oh, baby. Go oh, the pass. Gets the pass out. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. Second down now following the incomplete pass. Throws it out. Brings it in. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, New Orleans. The Saints started at their own 30 and used four plays for the score. Garrett Hartley is good on the point after. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. And I doubt we'll see a deep kick here. They'll probably just scrib it to get to the half. <laughs> Line drive kick. Not much distance there. Fitzsimmons takes it at the 36. Gets to about the 44. We'll take you to the studio now for halftime. Let's catch up on what's happening on the scoreboards. Let's take a look at the stars from this weekend's games. Jamal Lewis has... They get him at the 28-yard line. The Saints are rolling right along and will look to make it another scoring drive. Let's go! Come on! Come on! Inside! Inside! Bush gets the carry. The tackle was made by Darby. Darby with the takedown again. That's his fifth tackle of the game. away. Throws just as the pressure gets there. Cuts back and he's dropped. Well, when you have a talented running back like this, you always have to account for him. That time, a nice play-action pass open it up down the field. Passes the ball. Holston fumbles. Referee's going to have to dig to the bottom of this pile to see who came away with it. Foot grabs it on the ground. The Lions win the battle. the takeaway. The Lions will start this drive at the 48-yard line. Let's go, let's go. 
They go with the run. Spicer makes the tackle. A couple of yards there. That'll bring up second down. He throws right, catches it, and hit instantly. Short pickup. That's a two-yard gain. Culpepper loses the ball. They'll pile up for it. It's picked up. The Lions get it. They'll maintain possession. I'm not really sure who got to that ball first. I think it changed possessions a few times at the bottom of that pile. But the offense came away with it, and they earned it. He's tackled at the 30. Be aware of the pressure here. If you feel the heat, you got to make quick decisions. Just make sure they're good ones. Gives it up the gut. The stop was made by DeVries. Watch where there's more yards, yards there. there. Look that for brings the hole up second and down. send your man into the secondary. Short pass. Makes the catch. Ernie Sims makes the tackle. Harrington makes his third catch of the game. Right through his hands, he almost had the pick. Second down now, following the incomplete pass. Let's get going. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Yeah, it really just throws you off rhythm to have a play that gains nothing. You know, you're usually you're going to get something, two, three, four yards, and it keeps you in that rhythm. But when the defense makes a play like that, it really throws your offense off. It's there for the catch. Halston is proving once again that he is an extremely versatile weapon, passing the century mark and receiving with that reception. They give it to the tailback. He fights forward to about the 39. Dwayne White was there on the tackle. They go with the toss. Peterson will drop him behind the line at the 40. And so many times you hear offensive coordinators criticize because they don't try to run the football enough. Well, when you get stuffed in the backfield like that, you understand why they would rather call the pass play. Passes it. Drops the easy pick. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. It'll go out at the nine-yard line. They had to punt it away on their previous drive. Smith gets the ball. Clancy makes the tackle. Second down now with 10 to go. We need some attention. There, baby. I see y'all. Good job over there, baby. Throws it short. It's incomplete. He gets knocked out of bounds about the 15-yard line by Dan Morgan from their own nine-yard line. The 
the defense didn't get the sack, but they got the next best thing, and that was a bad throw. Malcolm Jenkins is back awaiting the punt. Gets to the 31-yard line, and it's pretty apparent that just about everything is working for these guys today. They'll start this drive at the 31. Bush gets the ball. The stop was made by DeVries. Get the ball to the open man. You can't give him an easy pick. Here's the pass. That passing touchdown gives him three for the game. Terrific play call that time by the offensive coordinator to take advantage of that weakness in this defense. Sometimes as a play call, you just get the feeling you're a step ahead, and that's been the case today. From his own goal line. Hit and drop at the 28-yard line. They couldn't do anything against this defense on their last drive, and they were forced to punt. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Smith makes the tackle. Smith picks up five yards with the carry. Short throw to the right. No penalties called on this one. No sightings of the referees. This is my kind of a football game. Passes it out. And this one looks like it's going to come back. It's fourth down. The Lions are lining up to punt it away. Penalty on the play. First one today. Looked like someone got caught holding. Here's the official call. A lot of times a great receiver can turn a bad pass into a good game. You got to make sure you always know where your best receivers are. Here's the give. The stop was made by Darby. Thomas comes away with five yards on the carry. The pass is away. Alexander makes the tackle. Jeremy Shockey with his sixth reception. Makes the short throw. He's tackled at the 49-yard line by Julian Peterson. Good job all the way around by the defense that time. Not only did they have the deep routes completely covered there, but they also had the check down well within their grasp. He gets to about the 31-yard line. Delmas was there on the tackle. Again, he'll get the call. Tom, that was a run blitz on that play. They brought the middle linebacker effectively, filling all the gaps, and there was simply nowhere for the running back to go. Gets the ball away. There for the reception. 
Marcus Colston has snared 10 passes. Gives to the back. Well, those defenders get paid too, and every once in a while they win the battle. Clearly that time they were all over this offensive line. It'll be first and goal. They're probably looking for the run here. You should throw it and hope you get a guy wide open. to the end zone. Harrington has thrown four touchdowns today. Garrett Hartley is good on the point after. Here's your sprint drive summary. They line up at the 38. They'll give it off here. He doesn't get back to the line. Will Smith is playing with some intensity out there. He's been in on five tackles so far. Dumps it out right. Mitchell was there to bring him down. Ronald Curry with his third reception. Shake it up. Fourth down. The Lions are lining up to punt it away. Jenkins is the deep man awaiting the return. Fields it cleanly, but they're right there to bring him down. The Saints put together a really impressive drive that last time out. You can just see how confident they are right now. I tried getting this one to your go-to guy. I've got a feeling that he's just about ready to make a play for you. Flips it out short. Pass is complete. We have an injured Saints player who needs to come off the field. Yeah, I like to see that. Your halfback looks like a good option here. Set up some blocks and see if he can break it for a big game. Gives to the back. Foot makes the tackle. Thomas gains about four yards. That'll be enough for the first. Let's do this. 
Arrington will not see any more snaps in this one. They decided to play it safe. Gets the pass away. The stop was made by Smith. Robert Meacham now with four catches in the game. It's the tailback. And for a defense in those short yardage situations, more often than not, you're going to give up the first down, but you certainly don't want to allow them to break out the big one. Oh, no, 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 no. We got to make some plays. When you get that kind of pressure, a lot of times the play will result in something worse than just an incompletion. Harrington hands it off. Brady Jackson was there on the tackle. Thomas picks up five yards with the carry. Here's the throw. Philip Buchanan was there to bring him down. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop it. That incompletion will bring up second down. This is the ninth play of this drive. He'll get it again. Thomas gets six yards on the play. And this is the tenth play of the drive. He throws right. And he caught it. Harrington throws his fifth TD pass of the game. Garrett Hartley packs on the extra point. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. have had a long day so far and if they don't make something happen on this series well you're going to see these players getting more and more frustrated he gets out to about the 32 yard line before he's rustled to the ground second and seven situation here <laughs> throws it and it's knocked down Calvin Johnson was the intended receiver on the play. And they're coming after him. He's sacked. The Saints have been blistering these guys. That's now seven sacks. Seven sacks. At some point, it's time to say, hey, call off the dogs over there. This thing's going to be over. Dropped at the 43-yard line. The Saints looked very strong that last offensive possession. They capped it off with a touchdown. Those are exactly the types of drives coaches love to see, unless you're on the defensive side. They give it to the tailback. Thomas gains around eight yards on the run. He's there for the catch. Arrington makes it five catches for the game. Throws it. Comes down with it. That pass put him over 300 yards for the game. And what's really impressed me has been his action. Accuracy. He's been squeezing the ball into some tight situations all game. His accuracy has just been tremendous. 
He scrambles away. Touchdown, Saints. And how many times do you see that perfect coverage that time down the field? They're so focused in on the receivers, they forget about the quarterback, and he takes it to the house. from that one. Their last drive ended with a three and out. The Lions will set up shop at the 29-yard line. Not much time to throw. Dunbar knocks it away. Second down now following the incomplete pass. He rolls right, and it's completed. The tackle was made by David. It's one of the dangers you bring those extra defenders trying to get after the quarterback, and you're going to leave some man coverage on the outside. That time, the quarterback able to take advantage. They'll give it off here. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Young. Keep grinding. Keep grinding. tackle he has a man open deep he throws it out there touchdown line the defense has struggled defending the pass in this one he's now got three scores through the air yeah I always felt like with the rules the way they are today that as long as you're executing as an offense and protecting up front you should be able to throw the football. And when they've had opportunities to make plays today, they've made them. He'll take it from the two. And we have a flag on the play. And that flag was thrown in the area of holding. Be patient. You got to make sure that you wait for your blockers to set up this one. Don't try and do it all on your own. Dumps it out left. There for the catch. The stop was made by Delmont. That's the big guy's 100th yard of the game. I always thought it was such a comforting feeling for quarterbacks to throw to the tight ends. Generally, they're shorter, quicker throws to big body guys. It's a real confidence builder for these quarterbacks. Thomas gains around three yards on the run. Gets the pass off. Tackle was made by Smith. Robert Meacham now has five catches. All kinds of pressure. Anthony Henry is there to bring him down. That Run catch puts him over 100 yards drive. receiving. Not Find much doubt is there, Tom, as to who this quarterback likes. He found the guy that he's That's most ball, comfortable man. with, and he doesn't care which coverage you're in. He's going to this guy. A nice pickup of about eight yards, and that will bring up second down.
and they'll line it up three yards away. And now we'll see who can get the bigger push. They give it to the fullback. Gets away from him. Touchdown. You know, there are really two types of fullbacks in the game. You have one that essentially is like having a guard in the backfield. be a lead blocker on plays and then you have guys like this guy who is essentially a second running back in the backfield and that really adds pressure to the defense dropped at the 34 yard line the Lions ended their last drive with a touchdown so they'll look to make it two in a row. Feeds it to the back. And let's give credit to the defense. They had a great push there. They got in the backfield, took control of their own gaps. As we head to the fourth, this one's really gotten out of hand. Our score, the Saints, 86, the Lions, 41. Short throw to the left. Third down coming up after that incompletion. They'll face a third and 13 situation here. He gets popped as he throws. Calvin Johnson was his intended target. Fourth down. The Lions are lining up to punt this one away. Makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. The Saints will begin this drive at the 39-yard line. Get ready. Gets the pass away. Brings it in. Delmas was there on the tackle. His receiver was really pretty well covered that time, but a good throw got the job done. Gets the pass out. Makes the catch. Tackle is made by Levy. Jeremy Shockey with catch number nine. They line up at the 20. Brady Jackson was there on the tackle. And that's why you send all those guys to plug up the holes and... That time, there were no holes, really, and he was lucky to get anything on the play. I've got you, I've got you. Throws it out is there for the catch. Miller makes his third grab. It's first and goal. Ball on the three-yard line. They hand it off. You gotta love this guy. I had a chance to talk to him in the offseason. And the one thing that he said that drives him nuts about any running back are guys that run out of bounds. He wants to lower his head, Create contact and crush anybody in his path. He 
return it from the one. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. They didn't look sharp on their last drive and were forced to punt it away. Mitchell makes the tackle. So they'll face a second and ten. Ball on the 25. Got it off, barely. David picks it off. The stop was made by Johnson. The Saints get their second interception of the game. It's the tailback. Dwayne White was there on the tackle. We have an injured Saints player who needs to come off the field. They line up at the 48. 44, 44. Right. He's scrambling. He needs to get the pass off. Peterson was there to bring him down. Yeah, I don't think that was a designed quarterback run on that one. He simply couldn't find anybody open, saw a running lane, and boy, that didn't stay open for very long either. Fullback on the inside give. We have an injured Saints player who needs to come off the field. Evans is done for the day. His injury will keep him out the rest of the game. It's the fullback. Yeah, here's a guy that typically is in there just to block, but when he does get an opportunity to carry the football, you can see he gets excited, and here he got the job done. Short throw. There for the reception. Pearson makes the tackle. That makes it an even 10 catches now. It's second and two. Throws it short, and it's caught wide open. Touchdown, Saints! And they will add to this already huge lead. It hasn't exactly been a shootout today, that's for sure, but sometimes that's just how it goes in the NFL. the 30 at the 40 across midfield at the 40 at the 30 to the 20 to the 10 what a return touchdown love, baby. having a kickoff return guy that can return at the distance is such a huge advantage for a team that's why you're seeing more and more teams around the league drafting guys that can take it to the house at the 41-yard line. That return will set the offense up nicely. They did an outstanding job blocking for the returner, and he repaid their efforts with a huge game. You know what we need, baby. Wait. Here's the give. Thomas comes away with five yards on the carry. Second and five coming up here. Passes the ball. Drops the sure pick. And now the offense will be faced with a third down situation. Let's go. 
passes it. Pass is complete. To the 20. The stop was made by Robinson. Really nice job that time reading the blitz. He knew he was going to have a chance for a big play. Just hang in there, hang in there, and he made it. Still moving. Flag on the play. And this one looks like it's going to come back. They line up at the top. the pass. He leaves. It's caught. Curry tackles him at the six. Thomas with his third reception. Just five yards from a touchdown now. Get ready. He passes short. Touchdown New Orleans. The passing game is really completely different once you get inside that 10-yard line. You don't have time to sit and hold the ball. That time he got it out quickly and got it in there for the touchdown. Over 10 minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, and our score, the Saints, 107, the Lions, 48. They'll take over at the 24-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Short pass to his left. And they really forced him to throw that one before he had a chance to read the coverage. You know, typically when they blitz, you end up in one-on-one -on -one coverage, but you have to have time to throw the ball. He throws right, and he caught it. Knocked out of bounds at the 38 by Jenkins. When you're trying to blitz the quarterback, you better have some talented corners on the outside because as a wide out, just give me three or four seconds against the blitz and it is awfully tough to try and cover that. Inside the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Detroit Lions. Mm -mm, don't let this guy in the open field. Once he breaks free of the line of scrimmage, he's a threat to take it all the way every time. What a play that was. Up and good. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. From the seven. Drop at the 32 yard line. They'll get the ball here at the 32 yard line. It's first and 10. Passes it out. He's there for the catch. Moore has been a very effective weapon in the passing game today 
That last catch puts him above 100 yards. Averill is there to bring him down. They'll give it off here. Foot makes the tackle. White might have been injured on that one. Third down, six yards to the first. Here's the give. I know it may not be the popular thing to say, but I can't really give the running back 100% of the credit for this performance today. Let's face it, this defense came in here determined to stop the pass, and they're paying a price on the run. Culpepper brings the offense out, and they're going to have a long way to go on this series. Hit as he throws. Comes down with it. I always thought plays like that were essentially point savers. If you have to punt the ball from your own goal line, you're almost assuredly going to give up points on the next possession. He throws left, and it's completed. The stop was made by Mitchell. Johnson makes his third grab. Second and seven. Ball on their own 14. Just got that one off. Calvin Johnson was the intended receiver. It's third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. Feeling the pressure, and he fumbles the football. Who's going to come up with this one? He scooped it. The Lions maintain control of the football. Heads up play to get that ball back for the offense. That one really could have gone either way. Malcolm Jenkins back deep to return. He'll get to about the 35-yard line. They had to put it away on their previous drive. The Saints will start this drive at the 35. On the ground with a tailback. It's first and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. The pass is away. They've had no problem putting up points today. Touchdown, Saints. And that'll be his third scoring strike of the game. Three touchdowns on the day now. Not perfect today, but certainly an impressive passing performance. Extra point is good. Here's your sprint drive summary. down at the 26-yard line. The defense could do no wrong the last time this team had the ball. They'll take over at the 26-yard line. Gets the ball away. 
It looks like he was able to bring it down in bounds. They'll discuss it. So after conferring, they're going to say he was out of bounds. I don't care who you're talking about. That was a tough catch for anybody in this league. Short throw to the right. This defense is going to have a hard time today if they try and defend this four-wide set with a 43 defense. First and ten. Jenkins was there on the tackle. Not sure if I agree with that call at all. Yeah, the running game at this point works against you on a couple of fronts. One, you're not going to get typically a big play out of it, and that clock keeps on ticking. Culpepper will be dropped in the backfield. The key on a safety blitz is timing it out with the quarterback snap count. If you tip it too soon, the offensive lineman or the backs can adjust, but if you time it perfectly like happened on that one, you end up with a sack. Gets the pass away. There for the catch. Rialo was there to bring him down. Ronald Curry increases his receiving yardage total for the game to 100. Clearly, he came into this one ready to show his stuff. Here's the throw. Bryant Johnson is able to make his fourth reception. He gets another carry. The defense did a nice job there jamming the running back, bringing the outside linebacker on a blitz. Sometimes those outside backers a little more athletic and can really help stop the run. Throws it. Brings it in. Pettigrew makes his third catch of the game. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Throws it short. Brown was the intended receiver on the play. And it's good. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. Detroit comes out in the onside kick formation. The stop was made by foot. If you ask me, this one's been over for quite a while. Maybe they just wanted to practice the onside kick. Make a lot of sense. Thomas gets it on the inside. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. They go with the run. Peterson is there on the tackle. Thomas gets about four yards on the play. From the 34-yard line. They give it to the fullback. The stop was made by Alama Francis. And they'll keep the offense out there on fourth down. Hand off to the fullback. Tackle was made by Ernie Sims. And I really... Discipline of this defense. You never see these guys trying to do too much. They control their gaps, and that time there was nowhere to go. He throws right. Makes the catch. 
Calvin Johnson looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. The stop was made by Harper. Six-yard gain through the air on that play. Sometimes those quick slants don't look like too much, but if you break one tackle against man coverage, it could be a home run. Hammered as he lets it go. And if he can get just a little bit more time, there are guys running open down the field. The pressure is getting close, but it's not there. He should take a fraction longer to make that throw. Passive. Ronald Curry was his intended target. It's fourth down. The Lions lining up to punt. Malcolm Jenkins will be the return man. He makes it to the 23-yard line. This offense couldn't get anything going on their previous drive. They'll set up shop at the 23-yard line. They hand it off. As a quarterback, you really want to make that pre-snap read, and it's kind of hard to not see the middle linebacker. He came on the blitz that time, and sometimes you just need to get out of a play like that. Fullback straight ahead. Lewis was there on the tackle. Six-yard pickup, and that makes it third down. It's coming your way. It's coming your way. Let's have it. Fullback on the inside here. He's still going. Looks like the containment just broke down on that one, and they end up giving up the first. Defense is all about gap control. All you have to do is maintain your one gap. If one guy blows it, you can give up a big play like that. They finally force him to the ground at the 24-yard line. Pretty impressive stuff. As a back, you have to just keep slamming it in there, believing that hole's going to be there eventually. That time it was, and he took advantage. ahead with a fullback. The tackle was made by Lewis. Seven yards there. That'll bring up second down. Second and three coming up here. A minute to go in the ball game. Scrambles. Throws short. Tipped away. And for some reason, they pass the ball and that will stop the clock. Not sure what they were thinking. Well, just about the time you were thinking they were going to try and run this clock out, they go out and they're aggressive, but now the clock stops. They hand it off. Tackle at the 12 by Lewis. The defense couldn't figure out a way to come up with a stop on that third down attempt. And let's give that big offensive line a little credit there. They knew they were going to have to drive this defense off the ball, and that's exactly what they did on that one. Brady Jackson was there on the tackle. Brady Jackson cracks him down, wraps him up for tackle number five. Dumps it out right. Runs over tackling. And they get the cheap touchdown as time expires. Oh boy, here we go. I guarantee you that one's going to be remembered for a long time. They had a chance to just kill the clock. Instead, they rubbed it right in their face. That's going to do it from New Orleans. Stay with us for top highlights next. Our 
Our final score is the Saints 100.